Welcome back, IRS, and happy holidays. It's an early start into the breakup season for Pete Davidson, Elon Musk's poll didn't break the mold, and vote Snoopy Snoop for CEO. These are the topics in today's episodes, so here we go again. Pete Davidson is at the center of yet another rumored celebrity relationship, this time with model Emily Ratajkowski. Luckily for all the single ladies, Pete Davidson seems to be back on the market these days after news spread about the breakup between him and former girlfriend Emily. In August 2022, the comedian was reportedly dumped by Kim Kardashian after nearly a year of headlines tattoos, and red carpet appearances. Around the same time, Ratajkowski split from her husband of four years, Sebastian Bear McClard. Fast forward to November 2022, and suddenly everything's coming up, Pem Radisson. Well, let's be real, we should have all seen it coming to be honest. Especially after Emily had explained to Seth Meyers back in November of this year why so many women in Hollywood are down to date Davidson. Obviously, women find him very attractive, she says. Guys are like, wow, what's this guy got? I mean, he seems super charming, he's vulnerable, he's loved his fingernail polish is awesome. He looks good. He's great. Good relationship with his mother. We love it. On November 13th, 2022, Pam Radisson Rose. In mid-November of this year, the celeb gossip Instagram account De Moi posted an anonymous tip about the pair. M. Radha and Pete Davidson on a date in Brooklyn together, holding hands and all, the source wrote per Cosmopolitan screenshot. His hands are all over her and they're clearly hooking up. A couple of days later, people reported that the pair are seeing each other. Apparently, this rebound is just what the doctor ordered. Emily is doing well and getting more adjusted to her life as a single mom since her divorce, a source told Entertainment later in the month. She is dating and having fun with it. She's in a good headspace. Now, given that Pete very recently split from Kim back in August after nine months of dating, internet users immediately questioned how the beauty mogul would react to his apparent new relationship. Several sources who spoke to Us Weekly and E! News claim that Pete and Emily have a lot of flirtatious chemistry and are in the early stages of dating. The icing on the cake came when some photos of Davidson and Radikowski looking rather cozy surfaced online after the two had seemingly been celebrating this comedian's 29th birthday in New York. One Twitter user predicted that there'd be drama coming for sure because of Kim and Emily's friendship, while others seem to believe that Kim had thrown a little shade towards Pete by posting a TikTok featuring a song by his ex Ariana Grande. However, according to sources close to Kim who spoke with Hollywood Life on Thursday, the mogul is totally fine with the whole thing. Kim has known Emily for some time and she approves of them dating each other, an insider said. She thinks it's cute and she is legit happy that he found someone that is more his speed and on the same wavelength as him. But for Pete, it seems to be one rebound after another because it looks like the ex-SNL star might have another rebound on his hands because he was out on a grocery store date with a mystery woman who appeared to be none other than Chase Sue Wonders herself. Davidson was at a Whole Foods Saturday afternoon in Brooklyn where he was definitely trying to lay low and stay incognito as was the, his lady friend next to him. Both of them were wearing their hoods completely over their heads as they exchanged smiles at the checkout. Lucky for us, Pete likes to recycle his fits a bit because anyone would recognize that New York jacket anywhere. It's the exact same jacket he wore to the Rangers game on Thursday, where CSW was also in attendance with her fellow Bodies 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 cast members. The cat was almost out of the bag at the hockey game, but there could be plausible deniability since their co-star Rachel Sonat was also tagging along with the two, which could have been just a friendly three-way outing. If you haven't seen the movie yet, the two play a couple on screen, David and Emma, who have a rocky relationship and clearly based on the two's get-together, their chemistry in the real world seem to be much stronger with a lot less drama. We also haven't seen Pete with Radikowski in a while either, which is more evidence that this thing between him and Chase might actually be romantic. Plus, I mean, come on, you don't just bring anyone to a Whole Foods with you, because we all know that's the real deal right there. Now, on to talking about the space Karen himself, Elon Musk. More than 10 million people have voted in favor of Elon Musk stepping down as the chief executive of Twitter in a poll he posted on the site late on Sunday. It looks like a new job title is not the only thing Musk gained when walking into the Twitter HQ as the new owner. The billionaire is now being referred to as Elmo inside the company, according to two people familiar with the matter, reports Business Insider. The publication claims the name began as a joke because of how close Elon's name is to the kind of curious Sesame Street character. They also noted that it's ironic thanks to Musk's temperamental personality. Musk, who bought the company and installed himself as its head only 50 days ago, has insisted there is no successor in the wings. No one wants the job who can actually keep Twitter alive, he said on the social network. There is no successor. On Sunday, Musk asked Twitter users whether he should step down as the head of the company, promising to abide by the results of his poll. When the poll closed today, 57.5% said he should step down. As the majority owner of the privately held company, no one can force Musk out, but a series of baffling decisions over the past few days has caused even some of the closest backers to break ties with him. Musk has 
has a history of using Twitter polls to rubber stamp major decisions, selling a tenth of his Tesla holdings after one poll in 2021, after restoring Donald Trump's account after a second last month, and reinstating a number of suspended accounts after a third. Vox Populi, Vox Die, Musk tweeted after the Trump poll. However, in many cases, he has given the impression of already having decided on the outcome before posting. He had already announced a sale of his Tesla holdings, for instance, long before he put to a vote, and his plan to reinstate Trump had been discussed since before he even bought Twitter. The decision to step down as chief executive had also been hinted at long before the Twitter poll was published. On November 16th, he told a Delaware judge that he planned to reduce his time at Twitter and find somebody else to run Twitter over time. There has been a flurry of controversial changes at Twitter since Mr. Musk bought the social media site. He has fired half of its staff and attempted a rollout of Twitter's paid for verification feature before putting it on pause. The feature was relaunched. He has also been criticized for his approach to content moderation, with some civil liberties groups accusing him of taking steps that will increase hate speech and misinformation. On Friday, Mr. Musk was condemned by the United Nations and European Union over Twitter's decision to suspend some journalists who covered the social media firm. The UN tweeted that media freedom is not a toy, while the UE threatened Twitter with sanctions. After starting the poll, Mr. Musk tweeted, as the saying goes, be careful what you wish for as you might get it. He added later, those who want power, are the ones who least deserve it. On to our last topic of today's informative overload, vote Snoop for CEO. One hour after Elon Musk, rapper Snoop Dogg has posted a poll on Twitter asking users if he should run the microblogging platform. The poll was launched this morning asking users to choose from yes and no. Snoop Dogg's poll has already received more than 1.2 million votes with a staggering 81% of the respondents saying yes. Mr. Musk has already launched a poll asking users to vote on whether he could continue as the chief executive officer of the microblogging platform. The the poll has now ended with over 17 million votes. Nearly 57% of users voted in favor of Musk stepping down as head of Twitter, while around 42% of users who participated in the poll voted for him to remain as Twitter's CEO. Mr. Musk said that he will abide by the results of the poll. Users have posted hilarious responses on Snoop Dogg's Twitter poll, asking the rapper to take over the microblogging platform. One person commented he should rebrand it as Tweeter. The Guinness World Records also responded saying that this is the biggest yes ratio in Twitter poll. The 51 year old posted the poll poking fun at Mr. Musk for his gesture to ask the users to decide on his future. The Twitter CEO has not yet commented on whether he will definitively step down as head of the company. Earlier, Mr. Musk also shared a tweet saying all major policy changes at Twitter would be put to a vote. The tweet also apologized for not implementing such a system earlier. Mr. Musk has promised that such policy changes will not be undertaken without reaching a consensus. Musk's latest move comes amid backlash for Twitter announcing a policy that would ban the promotion of content from the social media platforms. The billionaire currently holds the position of the CEO in six companies that, apart from Twitter, also include Tesla, SpaceX, The Boring Company, Neuralink, and The Musk Foundation have previously stated his intent to not continue as a CEO of Twitter for too long, citing an overload of work across all six companies. So who knows? Maybe we'll finally get that Snoop Dogg takeover that everyone's raving about and the drama surrounding Twitter can finally be laid to rest. In a subsequent tweet, Musk wrote as the saying goes, be careful what you wish for as you might get it. Well, I always, that's all we have for today's episode. If you like this video, please subscribe below and just hit that little like button for me and I'll catch you all in the next video. Ciao.